Hello, everybody. I am jumping on here for this week's episode of Burning Questions. Just want to make sure that I am going through, that it's all working okay. It seems to be, but I don't really know. So if you can see me, and you can hear me okay. Can you just drop a wave in the comments just so I know um, and just say hi, uh, so I know that it is going through. It seems, oh, it's hard to know if it's going through. But um, let's get started anyway. Um, now, uh, before I jump into this week's burning question, uh, um, I wanted to hear from any of you who are listening in live. Uh, if you're listening in live, comment below where you're tuning in from. I'm here in Seattle, Washington, and to be honest, we're in the middle of summer, and today it is raining and cloudy and probably about 60 degrees. Hi, Patty. Thanks for, thanks for waving. Um, it's about 60 degrees in the middle of summer. Can you believe it? Like literally Seattle weather is not bringing its A game this summer. So tell me where you're tuning in from and let me know what the weather's like doing for you. Now, uh, this particular question was asked recently by Christina and Christina is a part of my Facebook group for parents of kids with ADHD and just recently reached out to me and said this, my daughter has been struggling with constipation for years and her doctor is suggesting Miralax. Now, I, um, she had said that she heard some pretty bad things about Miralax, so wanted to hear my thoughts on what she should do. Help, please. Now, Christina, this is such a great question, and it's one I get asked a lot, so I really wanted to address it here today. So let me know in the comments, uh, for those that are listening, oh, Can Kansas City, Patty, a um, hundred. Oh my gosh. Wow. That seems really, really hot. Uh, so uh, let me know in the comments if you've ever been told or you've heard that Miralax is safe to use on a regular or semi-regular basis. Just give me a yes in the comments if you have. Now, uh, parents tell me all the time that their kids' doctors have suggested using Miralax for mild constipation. And honestly, I personally do not get it. Um, if you are told to give your child Miralax for mild constipation, don't just walk, run out of that office right there, run to a new doctor. You guys, there are other safer options out there. So here are some things to think about. Constipation is not normal. So many people act like it's normal for a child to be constipated. It is not. <laughs> um, and I will go on a rant about this. Uh, so instead of going first to medication, think about what might be causing the constipation. What is your child's diet like? Could there be a food sensitivity? Is the child eating gluten and dairy? Begin by cleaning up the diet and getting rid of gluten and dairy. And that alone, honestly, might be enough to get the constipation under control. I have had families after families after families that I've worked with that literally they just changed the diet and they, their kids are pooping like champions, which is what we want. We want them to go every single day. Constipation means that there's likely something deeper going on in the gut that is causing the constipation. And you're using Miralax will not help you figure out what's causing the constipation in the first place. And there are significant side effects associated with Miralax. Ask questions, do the research. Don't just blindly trust your doctor if they are suggesting this without exploring other possible options too. So I'm going to pop a link into the comments of a news article that talks about some of the side effects of Miralax. So make sure and give that article a read too. Now there are lots of natural remedies for constipation. Look, I'm not against medication and I say that a lot. It certainly has its time and its place, but it should not be the first port of call with mild constipation. Not when there are so many other options that are so much safer. So what are those natural remedies? And I wanna say that constipation is actually linked to ADHD in the way that your gut is the center of your body and your gut 
talks to your brain via a highway between the two. And if your gut is constipated, if you're constipated and your gut's messed up, your brain is not going to be able to function properly. Your frontal lobe is not going to be able to focus. It's not going to be able to provide attention. Uh, And all of those executive function challenges that our kids with ADHD have the root cause could be what's going on in the gut, okay? So constipation is a sign that the gut is off. So sorry, I went on a sidetrack there, but uh, let's dive into those natural remedies. So as I already mentioned, begin by cleaning up the diet by cutting out gluten and dairy, and this can help tremendously with constipation and might make it so no other strategy is actually needed. Uh, The next one is magnesium citrate, and it has been shown to improve constipation as well. So I'll pop a link to my favorite brand in the comments. Castor oil packs, and a lot of you probably haven't heard of those, and they can also be really, really helpful. Start with one hour per day and increase to the idea of wearing it overnight. And I'll also pop a link to my favorite one in the comments as well. I'll tell you with castor oil packs, I've had some of the some kids that have just been chronically constipated for years, nine years of their life, haven't gone more than twice a week. And we use the castor oil pack as a strategy and this kid was then pooping. Number four is increase water intake. If you haven't already tried increasing the water intake, definitely do this as it can be really helpful as well. And if your kid just doesn't like drinking water, pop some fruit inside the water to give it some flavor. Number five is increase exercise. Get that body moving. Um, It can really be helpful to get the bowels moving. And then finally, if mag, citrate, castor oil packs and those other natural strategies don't work, I often recommend oxy powder. It is a great natural way to get those bowels moving. And so I'm going to pop a favorite brand of this into the comments as well. Now, I definitely recommend you stay away from Miralax if you can. Uh, Give these natural remedies a try and let me know how you go. As always, if you are concerned about constipation, if it's really bad, you definitely want to check in with your doctor because it is really important to make sure those bowels are moving every single day, okay? It's really important. I will also say if they're constipated, again, it's a sign that there's something else going on in the gut. 95% of serotonin, 50% of dopamine are made in the gut. Excuse me. And when your gut is not working properly, which constipation is a sign that it's not working properly, then your body isn't able to produce these vital neurotransmitters that regulate your emotions, maintain your mood balance, your cognitive function, which are all signs of ADHD. So get that gut functioning well. So I hope this answers your questions. Uh, Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions at all. Uh, Reach out to me via PM um, if you don't want to share it in the group and I'm happy to answer them. But that's it for today. I'll pop those uh, links in the comments. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Hope your weather is better than what we're having in Seattle. Uh, But I hope you all have a great day. Take care.